it's really acknowledging the emancipation of, of the Black community, but more importantly, um, acknowledging the strides that we've made and celebrating that. This Sunday is Juneteenth. It's a holiday that originated in the U.S. and commemorates June 19, 1865, when Union soldiers brought the news of freedom to enslaved people in Galveston, Texas, the last state with institutional slavery. It became a federal holiday in the U.S. last year. But Janice Bartley with the nonprofit Foodpreneur Lab says Juneteenth isn't just for Americans. Oppression to one is oppression to all. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it doesn't matter which black community we're from, we are all um, ancestral slaves. Mm -hmm. And so in recognizing that, we just want to celebrate who we are, the, the vivaciousness that we bring in into our spaces, you know, our language, our culture. On Sunday, Foodpreneur Lab is throwing a Juneteenth block party and black food market hosted by Junction Craft Brewery. Vendors will be offering a wide range of cuisines that are often underrepresented. Dishes from Cameroon, Haiti, Ethiopia, and more. And so we want to introduce that to other communities as well. This is not just about celebrating the black community. It's really about celebrating community. And I always say this, food is community. Foodpreneur is a black women-led nonprofit advocating for racial and gender equity in the food industry. The organization supports entrepreneurs on the journey towards building their businesses. How do you say no to a, to a company that is that's, you know, black led and it's black women owned. Ren Navarro of Beer Diversity will be kickstarting the event with a ticketed food and beer pairing. Navarro is a consultant working to address the lack of diversity in the Canadian beer industry. I've been in the industry for 10 years and, um, you know, at the start, it was it was just me <laughs> for Ontario, you know, for selling craft beer. I think that it's about marketing and who do we market to and how do we show things? Because we are so incredibly gendered and racialized in how we present things, it means that large numbers of people are left out. This block party event on, on Sunday is part of that to show that anyone can have access to beer and anyone can enjoy it. For more information on the event, you can head to our website, citynews.ca. In Toronto, Erica Natividad, City News.